What we're going to try and do is to try and uh, just show you how we tie on a warp to the apron. Um, we don't, I know that there are a lot of different ways to do it, and I don't want to tell you that this is the best way or the only way, but this is the way that we do it. This is what I was taught, and, um, and it certainly helps maintain that tight, even tension that we're looking by tying the edges, and we're going to move from the edges towards the center. Um, so I'm going to start with, oh, by the way, I'm also holding the two harnesses more or less at the same level with, with one of my feet on the treadles. Um, but I do want them both to be level. Um, I also want to have, I don't want to waste too much warp, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have about that much warp. There. I'm always going to pull it tight, and this first one especially real tight. I'm going to do a half hitch by just reaching over, I'm, so I've, I've looped the warp underneath this nice tight section. I'm going to reach through the loop and pull that so I can do that one half hitch. And I'm going to do the exact same half hitch a second time. And that is my knot. I'm going to try and do the other edge. And I'm going to keep it a little bit wider than straight I'm not going straight across. I'm going just a tad wider, some fraction of an inch wider. I'm going to pull it as tight as I can. Use my thumb to hold it as tight as I can. Do that half hitch, first half hitch, and second half hitch. Now, I might have to retie these. I don't know for sure. And if I go too much tighter, I'm going to um, I'm gonna lose access. I don't want to lose access to the holes in the apron. Uh, by the way, on a Rio Grande loom, we use these uh, heavy-duty canvas aprons, and they are strong. Um, they don't. They they will maintain the same tension all the way across, as opposed to a rope apron, which a lot of looms have. So what I'm going to do again: pull it tight. I'm going to do this half hitch and a second half hitch in the same direction. Whoops, dropped it. So I'm going to pull it tight again. Pull it tight, pretty much as tight as I can. One half hitch and a second half hitch. Hopefully these two will match pretty well, and they do. I want the tensions to be equal all the way across. That's the most important function. Looks like I'm going to skip that hole in the apron. I don't need to use every hole in the apron. I, I do want to sort of uh, align my bundle of warps uh, with the hole in the apron. Um, and depending on the distance between the holes in the apron, I'll, I'll change the uh, thickness of, of what I'm separating in the bundles. Yeah, there's one half hitch and a second half hitch, and they feel pretty good. Um, I don't know whether I want to keep making it tighter, but but I can do that. Just do one tighter, because as I have more of these bundles tied onto the apron, I will uh, loosen up the the previously tied knots. Um, so I tend to do that little slowly tightening up uh, thing. So I want to have it coming out here, uh, coming out of the reed, and I want to align it basically with the middle between the two apron holes. We'll do this half hitch. Now I'm having to lift that bar up off of the front beam, which is kind of trouble. I'm pulling back as hard as I can. Half hitch and another half hitch. And we'll just tie our way across. Probably now I've, I'm not going to have to tighten up anymore. Um, I'm not going to tighten up on the sides, um, especially with such a narrow width. 
So they're even tension, and I'm testing it as I go along, but I can probably rely on it at this point, keeping those lines straight. Pulling back, half hitch, half hitch. Going to take another section, get it straight, pull it through the hole in the apron, pull it tight. I use my thumb to hold it. Let's do these half hitches. Oops, didn't hold it. Okay, I'm going to do one half hitch and another half hitch. They feel good and even to me. I have two more holes, so I'll just divide my remaining warp in half. So you can see that what I've done is gone side to side. Um, on the wider looms, I might do two or even three of these bundles, you know, three knots. Um, on each side before I switch walk back to the other side, but it's easy to switch back and forth on a narrow width like this And I didn't get them all through the hole I've got it right on top of the Front beam here, so it's a little hard to get into the hole Okay, tightened it up one half hitch and a second half hitch um, a point that I want to make, I've, I've got even tension, it's, it's really a good uh, tight tension already, probably tight enough to weave on. I want to make this one last point, <laughs> uh, that when I go to cut the pieces off after I've been weaving for a while, I will be cutting the bottom of the point where it ties onto the apron. And that will give me enough fringe to tie, to tie a fringe. So not this top, the top over the knot, but underneath the knot um, against that uh, dowel in this case, or the, the tie-on rod. Anyhow, that's it. I'm ready to weave. And I will start by weaving a header.